The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is the Eagles Sports Network and the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman Football's defensive coordinator, Larry Slade. Larry, thanks for taking some time as camp gets underway to talk positions and our position previews. We go with the defensive backfield today. Uh, and what a group that uh, you have back there. Three guys, all with more than 20 starts under their belts between Darius Williams, Desmond Farrell, and Jaquan Smith. Uh, what's it like to, to get to work with uh, such a well, veteran it's, and experienced group? It's, it's outstanding to... I mean, it's a gr real good thing to have veterans in the secondary. You know, I go back to the day that uh, I'll give you a quick deal. At, at Tennessee, we, we had a very veteran, one year very veteran secondary. We weren't as, uh, you know, up front. But the thing that we do, the thing that happens when you have veteran DBs is that you give up very few big plays. And that's what this group brings. And when you have guys that have started that much, it really uh, makes you feel good, or it really helps you as far as the confidence of stopping big plays. Desmond Farrell's top 10 all time already in terms of career interceptions with 12. What's he need to do to have a spectacular senior season? Well, continue to do uh, what he's doing. Uh, Desmond is really working hard. He is really uh, totally uh, bought and has really bought into to what we're doing. Uh, Man, he's an outstanding athlete, and he's putting it all together. The experience and the athletic ability together, it, uh, you know, it, it's exciting. You, you know what you're getting out of your safeties and Darius Williams and Jaquan Smith. Uh, plenty of it, career interceptions for those two as well. What sticks out to you about those two individuals as they gear up for their senior years? Well, I think the thing that uh, really typifies those two guys is their football intellect and then their toughness. Uh, and, and you, you never outwork those two guys. Now, they, there's some competition. Mm -hmm. There's some competition, especially at our free safety spot, you know, with uh, Demarcus Jones. But, uh, you know, uh, Jaquan is one of those guys that you, you think you're going to get him beaten out or someone's going to beat him out, and, and there he is again. Yeah. He, he, you just can't outwork that guy. You can't outstudy that guy. He's, he's just a phenomenal player. Uh, you, you bring up uh, Demarcus Jones. That's a name that Carson Newman fans haven't heard before. What's he done to insert himself into the fray uh, as a transfer? Well, he came in from Merced uh, Junior College. He had an outstanding spring and actually left the spring as a starter. So he, he, he's a big physical guy, runs well, um, makes plays. It's just that guy that, that you don't have to say, step here, go there. Mm -hmm. He makes football plays. Uh, you do have to replace one, and that's Mario Mezier, who started all 22 games of his career at Carson Newman at one of the corner spots. Uh, what's the process been like finding shoes to fill that role? Well, um, you know, I think really well. I, I really, we're going to miss Mario. Mm -hmm. He did a phenomenal job. Um, Ray Otterbridge has stepped in there, had a real good spring. Uh, Jim Marion, I mean, I'm sorry. Ray was not in the spring. Jim yeah. Marion was McDonald. The, McDonald was the corner in the spring. Did an outstanding job. Very good athlete. Another one of those Florida kids that can <laughs> run. Very athletic. We're really excited about him. And Ray in the month of July had an outstanding July, and that that's going to be a, a great competition between those two guys. How nice is it to even though you lose a guy like Amario Mezier, you have so much depth returning that's infused with uh, some talent. Well, certainly, um, and that's the key is to have those guys because it is, it is our goal. Uh, as many spread offenses as we play, we would like to play with five DBs mm -hmm. actually the majority of the time. So it's finding out which one of those guys will be your nickel or your fifth defensive back. Go back to signing day and a name that I remember uh, your face lighting up when the the NLI came in was a, a Jalen Anderson. Uh, what sticks out to you about uh, that freshman coming in and what role can he provide? Well, he's another guy that I think will be a backup, but he's going to come out and compete. Mm -hmm. He has the size that you love in corners. He's a big guy. He's a long guy. He's athletic. Uh, I'm just excited about seeing what he can do. Don't be surprised if he's not out there playing a whole yeah. lot for us. What do you hope typifies your defensive secondary this year? 
Well, I think I always start, and I, maybe it's boring, <laughs> but, but this is the case. The role of the secondary is to stop the big play, mm -hmm. run and pass and has some guys that, uh, the veteran guys, especially understand angles. They understand, hey, I got to get this guy down in the open field. They are good at that. And, and the thing that I like to, when this is all said and done, is that, that our guys made plays, that they were fundamentally sound, that they played with unbelievable effort, and you know they gave up very few big plays. Larry, thanks for the time. Good luck this year. Thank you. That is Carson Newman Defensive Coordinator Larry Slade. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is the Eagle Sports Network.